If you are going to have a driver's license renewed or will help someone else apply for a new driver's license, this tip can save you much stress and frustration. Assumptions are the source of more problems, difficulties, and needless stress than any other cause. Renewing my license experience is but one simple example. Hopefully my experience can save you much frustration and stress. With more programs, including governmental sites, being on the internet, I should not have assumed that, since I had renewed my driver's license a few times in the past, that this time the procedure would be the same. Wrong. I arrived at the Department of Motor Vehicles office on time, but this was only because I left my residence way ahead of my appointment time. This was a smart move because I had to park my car two blocks away from the DMV office before I could find a legal parking spot. After arriving on time, I only waited 15 minutes before I was next in line. When it was my turn to see the agent, I was asked the question, do you want a California's driver's license or a federal license? The federal license allows me to go through airport security. Having presented in 25 countries on five continents and 44 of the United States, and intending to continue to travel and speak, I opted for the federal license. Then came the question, may I see your passport, social security card, and proof of your current residence? I was dumbfounded and was informed that the information is readily apparent on the DMV's website. Since I was already at the DMV office, I decided to take the ticket of my assigned call number and wait. I figured I could take the exam, have my picture taken, and then go home and return with the required documents. After waiting 30 minutes, I heard the following announcement. Please be patient. Our website is down and we will do our best to fix it as soon as possible. I spotted the person who I thought I could deal with because I saw him walking around to different DMV stations. So I told him my dilemma and asked if I could return to my residence, procure the required documents and not lose my place in line. He said no, but he would see what he could do after I returned with the documents. I returned home and had my lunch. I picked up my passport, social security card, and my electric bill, proving my residence. I then returned to the DMV office. I informed the DMV official with whom I had previously spoken, and I waited hardly any time before my new number was called. I had my picture taken and passed the written exam, which, by the way, was not written. The driving license test was taken on a computer screen. So here's a tip. Don't assume things are the same before visiting any governmental agency, local or national, visit their website. By the way, you can pick up a copy of my book, Live Without Stress, at livewithoutstressbook.com. I have been told that the first chapter on assumptions was well worth the small investment for the entire book. Order one for my website, and receive a second copy as a gift to share. Thanks for watching, sharing, and have a stress-free week.